Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Now you know there's a lot of videos out there about watching my camera bag. So today I'm going to do something different and hopefully start a new trend. And this is called What's Connected to My Camera. And basically it's just my accessories and different things that I use that fits onto my camera to give you, show you guys to give you a good look and you know how, how, how my setup would look and you know a lot of other people's setup would look. So uh, let's get started. I'm starting off with Big Daddy, uh, my 70 to 200 2.8. This is my 7D here. I'm using my 60D and my 50 millimeter 1.8 to film this. So this is how it would look with my 580EX2 flash. And this is how it look uh, with my 430 EX flash right here. Pretty much the same, just a few ounces lighter. This is a heavy setup here, but you know. If, you, if you're in the photography business, you just have to deal with it. And this is how it would look with my uh, my trigger transmitter right here. This is the Fotex Odin system. It's a pretty big transmitter right here. You see that? Okay, and next up. I'm gonna hook my Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4. Show you guys. It's one of my favorite lens right here. I mean, it's, this lens is a little heavy compared to Canon's 1.4. And this is how it look with the uh, 430 EX flash connect and the lens hood. Now this lens hood doesn't have felt in it like Canon's, and I, I mean I, I don't I wonder why they wouldn't put felt in it because felt absorbs light, and this has nothing but some kind of ruffles in it which actually bounces light back up into my lens, so I don't really use that. Okay, and next, show you guys what it look like the 580 EX flash. And the lens here. And next, my 85 millimeter 1.2. Well, you have to be real careful with this lens because the elements sit right at the top, and if you just put it on sideways, the slightest thing you can scratch your glass. And you'd be out of like $500 trying to get it fixed. I mean, it's a $2,200 lens and you really want to be careful. And that's what the 580EX flash connected. And the snap-on hood. I actually love this snap-on hood. It's a pretty heavy setup too. Okay, now how it would look with my transmitter on here. And a 430EX2. Next is the 28 to 135, 3.5 to 5.6. This is my walk around lens. It's 
pretty good lens, you know. I really don't have no complaints about it, all except the lens creep, which drives me crazy. 580EX2 connect and an aftermarket lens head because, as you guys know, L lenses are the only lenses that come with a lens head. If I can get this thing on here, there you go. And next with the 430EX flash connect connection. There you go. And the transmitter again. So did I get a twenty fold of seventy? I don't think I did. Show you guys that. And that's a heavy setup too. It's a pretty big lens. I'm suspecting it's so big because the zoom in and zoom out is reversed from other lenses. 580EX flash. Yeah, it's got a little weight to it. And the 430EX2 flash. Zoomed out. Actually, it's zoomed in. It's reverse. That's why the hood is so large. And with the transmitter. So there you have it guys, girls, everybody, um, why don't you make a video, what's connected to your camera, let us see it, and if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, and please subscribe, alright, thanks for your time y'all, peace, and I'm out of here.